Okay, I'm back. Um, I hope. Yeah, it is. All right, so where were we? Here. Oh. So you got your intro. Build it slow. And the thing is, you have to learn to think kind of... It's not really logic, but... Anyway, you can see all these loops are in 4-4 four, four time. You know, I didn't have to do that, but I did. Um, so you have to think in fours, you know, when you... Because you can think of it fractally. Like, this is just a, another loop made up of all these other loops. And we're actually going to put this inside of a bigger loop. Um, in the next, you know, installment of this thing, which I'm sure you're not going to want to miss. Then, you know, that's it. You, you have to think in fours, so you have an eight bar intro, right? Two times four is eight. And then you have a 12 bar verse, culminating in basically the climax of the song. An eight bar, um, what, chorus, I call this. This is the hook that got me started on the song. Actually, the basic hook is the one in the beginning of the song. The, the first um, track is the drum track that you hear at the beginning, or the, the bass track actually that you hear at the beginning. That's the first one that I made, the first loop. You don't have to put your first loop in the intro, but I usually do, just to, to tip my hat to it. This is the verse, so yeah, it's cool, man. This is the verse, and this is the chorus. Oh, yeah. This is the chorus. Hey, oh. yeah. This is the chorus, and this, mm, this is the bridge where I get to sound really cool, where I can just shut up. Anybody want to do another round? Come on, I can do this all night. This is fun. So anyway, you see how that works? Now let me tell you, on the practical tip, how to draw in Seek 24. Each one of these things was drawn by selecting the bar that I wanted to put it in, the last bar that I wanted it to show in, and then um, you right click to mark the bar, and then you left click to draw or erase. Pretty simple, right? So, if I wanted to add this guitar in here, it's gonna sound stupid, but. Actually, that's kind of cool. And another round. So, if this were a pop song, it would be, you know, a three plus minute song. You'd, ro you'd basically roll it through three times. You might put another transitional section, you know, part of the song in there, some coda type, type thing at some point. Um, and you'd probably want to put a, uh, I like to put an outro, or as I like to call them, an extra on the song, but you know, that's optional. Really, to keep it simple, make it a 32-bar song and divide it into, you know, something that is divisible by four, multiples of four. So your intro is some multiple of four beats, uh, sorry, bars long. You know, your verse is some multiple of four bars long. And it all adds up to 32 bars. And that's the whole song. Roll through it three times and you got a hit. Everybody loves you. Yay! Actually, they don't even know you. You got paid a hundred bucks for the beat. <laughs> Some pretty boy gets all the credit. And that's actually the name of the song, Credit. But I'm not revealing the lyrics yet. <laughs> so you'll have to stay tuned for that. Did you hear that? Stay tuned, yo. And peace to you. DJs, have fun. Sample away.
that's kind of how it goes. Um, next time I'll show you how to get all this going in Arger and you know combine it with uh, combine it with real audio sounds. Record it. <laughs>